Hello, this is Rusty Williamson with another cool tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll take this footage, which there's a link to in the comments below, and we'll remove this guy who's walking across. And we'll do it using the Content Aware Fill in After Effects. Notice he walks in front of a motorcycle, he walks in front of a couple of people, and we're going to make him vanish. When we get done, the clip will look like this. Pretty cool, huh? All right, we'll get right to it. We'll do new, new project, new composition from footage, and we'll import our footage. We'll take a look at it. Right here, where he's got the widest stride, is where we'll start. Because the mask will cover this and the shorter strides as well. First thing we have to do is tell the content aware fill what to remove and we do that by creating a mask. We'll take the pen tool and we'll just create a mask around them. We'll give it some room at the head because the head comes up on the when the feet are together. And we'll come down and we'll try to catch all of the shadow underneath the feet. And we'll come back up. Now we'll change the mask hit M for mask and change it from add to none and we'll click on the stopwatch for the mask path now we'll take it back to frame one and let's color our mask something a little better And we will move our mask over and cover him. Now we'll move to the end of the frame, the end of the timeline, and we see that he's off frame, so we'll move our mask off frame. Now we'll go to about the middle. And we'll adjust it again to fit around him. Now we'll come in between, and we're just going to start coming in between the keyframes and adjusting the mask as needed. Now we'll scrub through it and see, make sure that he's, try to make sure he's covered all the way. Whoops. Maybe right in here. Mm, I guess we're okay. here and just move this down a little bit come in between here back a little in between here and all of this is off so what we're going to do keep the processing down we're going to stop it right after he leaves the frame. We're 
we're going to hit N to shorten the work area to where the timeline is. And then we'll right click on the work area and say trim comp to work area. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll set the mask to subtract. And we'll just play it through. Or scrub through. And just try to make sure that the feet and the head don't show. I think that looks pretty good. All right, now for the magic. You want to go up to the window and make sure that Content Aware Fill is open. It might be over here in your stack of panels here. When you open it up, you immediately see that it showing what wants what we want to be removed. We have the alpha expansion which expands the mask out beyond the border. I usually put it at four. Then you have the fill method. We'll just do do object for now. We're going to do the work area. Create reference frame is something I'm not going to go into right now. What we want to do is hit Generate Fill Layer. It'll ask us to save. And then it'll begin processing. This may take some time. First it will create a fill layer above your footage layer. And what, then it'll go through and analyze, and then it'll go through and render, placing frames in the fill frame to cover the mask. You'll see what I mean in a minute. All right, that took about 20 minutes on my little Yoga 9000. Let's see what we've got. We'll hide the mask and play it. Amazing. Amazing job. This tool is absolutely magic. There is one caveat with this tool. If you open up the fills in your project, and then expand it and expand it. You'll find that you've got an XPR file which is actually a PNG sequence. If you click on this and say reveal and explore you'll find that After Effects has created a whole bunch of PNG files. And these PNG files can take up or these XPR files, sorry, can take up a lot of room on your disk. If you go to where you created your project file, you'll see that After Effects has created a directory called Fills, and that's where you'll find these files. After Effects doesn't clean up these files. You have to remember to when you're done. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comments below. If you learned anything or liked this tutorial, give it a like. Until next one, we'll see you later.